everybody's Tyler here at IRI. Check out team number 51, Wings of Fire. Hall of Fame team, by the way, Wings of Fire. And their awesome robot, Wings of Fire. Incredible season this year. Uh, multiple wins at events, uh, as well as MSC finalists as well, too. Congratulations on that awesome success. And a good deep run at championships, too, uh, for your team as well. Wings of Fire, really just building a nice machine overall. Love the compactness of it, what they have to bring. Take a look from their intake, telescoping arm. We talked about some of our cool features of this robot. Let's learn more about Wings of Fire coming up here on Behind the Bumpers. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. SOLIDWORKS is free for FIRST teams. Over 80% of US engineering schools and 370,000 plus companies use SOLIDWORKS to design great products. Head on over to SOLIDWORKS.com sponsorships to choose from desktop, cloud apps, or both to design your robot. Okay, so this is the second elevation to our um, arm design. At first, we had a Andy Mark climber in a box, but that did not work for what we needed to. So we decided to go into our own version. The first part was drawing it up in CAD and seeing how it react in some um, simulation. And then after that, we went and handed it to our CSC. As you could see, I don't know if you could tell, well, you could see the wings of fire has been CNC and there's other shapes to make it more lightweight. Inside our um, Inside our telescoping arm mechanism, we have three stages of pulleys and um, cages. So I can extend all the way up. Keep going. Oh, well, even though there's not enough space up top here, um, normally in the field, we have a limit switch that limits the how far it can go. Nia, yeah, let me ask you uh, on, on the bot here, when you're looking at uh, strategy for it, um, why did you choose to go with the telescoping arm? Oh, we chose to go with the telescope arm because we knew we needed to extend to the, we needed to extend all the way up. And that was one of our needs. So instead of just having a metal bar swinging back and forth, we decided to do a telescope mechanism. Let's keep moving on on the robot wise. I want to talk about the uh, claw that's on your robot. So uh, talk to me a little about uh, why you chose to go with this claw. I know a lot of this kind of dictated the rest of your robot as well too. So talk to me about that process. A big thing we wanted to be able to do is we wanted to be able to pick up both game pieces off the floor and we wanted to do cones from the shoe because that seemed like the most like fastest way for our robot to like move and stuff. Uh, this is an inspired design. I can't say from which team exactly because multiple teams have like a similar style intake, but we kind of put our own twist on it. Like with the wheels, we 3D printed these to stop our uh, wrist from smashing against the ground, causing the belt to skip and break. Then we have our 51 engraved in the sides. And, uh, and we made these belts from scratch from this type of material in our shop. Uh, we had cut them, then melted them together to go around the uh, two separate rods. Looking at, uh, from your arm, arm wise on here, uh, looking at the game, you did so well this year. Would you do anything differently with this uh, intake that you have at all, Bryce? Um, no. Yeah. It's worked out pretty well so far. I think one of the cool things, I watched one of your matches, and it's like you were able to pick up just from the corner of it, essentially, and it still kept the grip, and I think that was a really cool thing uh, with your robot as well. So uh, any advice you have for teams that are maybe looking at doing this type of intake in the future? Um, the only big issue I would say is definitely make sure you put something to stop it from scraping against the ground if you plan on floor pickup. Because in the beginning, we didn't have these and our wrist like malfunctioned and broke a few times because it was just directly against the ground. So it would cause the belt to skip and snap. Right now, let's talk a little bit about software on your robot and, and talk to you about, you know, when you're looking uh, at uh, applying uh, different parts of it, where has software uh, applied most for your robot? And let's talk about some positional control on your arm as well. Okay, so our software, we have different presets so we can score high, medium, and low. And there's like different buttons you have to press when you're operating. And then also our, it's our robot is still centric. So we want to pick up foods from this side or this side, we can just quickly switch from which other side. We don't have to flip our whole rubber around, which is really, it's, it's a really helpful thing because we don't waste extra seconds. We just quickly go to the other side. A part, also a part of our software is our LEDs. It helps us communicate with our human player. So when I want to go get a cube, I when I press, press the button, it turns purple, or for a cone, it turns yellow. And then we have the cone or the cube secured, it turns green. So us, the drivers can know like, oh yeah, we have it. So we can like hurry up and go score. And yeah, that's pretty much it.
Yeah, well, 51 Wings of Fire, congratulations on a fantastic season uh, they had here. Uh, you know, Wings of Fire, legendary team that's gone back a long ways. But as uh, newer students, congratulations on a great year here. And we wish you best of luck here at IRI. And looking forward to next year as well, too, with your team. So good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. SOLIDWORKS is free for FIRST teams. Over 80% of U.S. engineering schools and 370,000 plus companies use SOLIDWORKS to design great products. Head on over to SOLIDWORKS.com sponsorships to choose from desktop, cloud apps, or both to design your robot. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now and check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.